Hello and welcome to Python tutorial number one. Um, in this tutorial we're going to learn the basic commands and if you do not yet know how to get to your Python shell which is this window um, you need to find where your Python's at and open up your Python GUI idle. Once you get there you should open up Python shell it should open up to this and this is what it'll look like right here. So what we're going to do is maximize this. We're going to learn the basic commands. The first command what we'll learn is the print command. This is what displays text. We're going to do it right here in the idle. Um, put print hello and it should look like this. Your string, your sentence should be in between two quotation marks. It should all light up as green if you did it correctly. As you hit enter, it displays your text that you made. So the print command is the first command. Um, the second one that you need to know is raw input. Raw input is what gets data from the user. You put an open parenthesis, quote, and you ask your question. I always put a space in between the question mark and the quote so that there's a space there for the user to type his question. Answer the question. Hit enter and it'll ask you the question. It'll accept your thing and print it out. Um, now that we've done raw input, there's a couple different variations of the raw input. You can do int, which is integer. And this is for numbers. Int, raw input, and you can ask like how many. Now, in Python, it has to be balanced as far as parentheses and stuff go. So there's two on this side. There has to be two parentheses on this side to close it off. If there's not, you hit enter and it don't close off. If you try to run a program, it'll create a syntax error. So int, parentheses, raw input, parentheses, quotes, your string in between quotes, and two parentheses to close it off. Hit enter and it'll ask you how many. Five. Now, the only problem with int is that when you ask the question, you cannot answer with decimals. You'll get a syntax error as shown here. To, if you're wanting decimals, then you have to do the floats raw input. And what float does is accept decimal input. So if you ask how many, with float, remember the two parentheses on each side, then you will get, then you can do decimals. It'll accept that. So let's review our commands here. We have print, string, raw input, which looks like this, integer raw input, which accepts whole numbers, and float, which accepts decimals. So now that we've learned our four basic commands, let's learn how to set variable names. To set a variable name, you type in variable name equals, and your variable name in quotes. So variable name equals, and then whatever it equals. So if you want your variable name to equal hello, then just put that in quotes there and that'll set your variable as hello now once you've set your variable and you want to display it you do print and then you put your variable name no quotes nothing just your variable name and that'll display your variable name now you can also set variables to your different commands for asking questions so if I want to save how many people, then I can do how many equals int raw input how many hit 
an answer and it'll ask me how many and I put in five now how many the variable has been set to the string how many right here the integer string and once it asks the question and you answer it that five is going to be what the variable is so if we print how many it'll come up as five now you can set variables to any one of the basic commands that we have up here the int the raw input the float all those can be set to a variable name so now there are also a couple ways of using the print command um, when you're doing multiple strings you don't want to keep going print blah 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 and print and print and print so for the print if you type your string then you do a backslash and hit enter now as you see it went in and indented so it's getting ready for another string so you just put your quote and you type your next line now you keep doing this as many times as you need it to if you're doing a lot of strings and to end it off you do not put a backslash you just put the quote hit enter and it runs that but the thing is it all runs on one line so now if you don't want it all on one line you do backslash n and that causes it to create a new line you can put as many of these as you want if you want it 50 lines below 20 lines below that's what backslash n does so that's another way of doing multiple lines with print another way you can do this is using print triple quotes hit enter and it comes into this you can do whatever you want in here some people like to do things with text graphics you know make pictures out of text but you could do all that in the triple quotes print function and it prints everything that was inside the triple quotes down below um, this was tutorial number one very very basic um, still inside the shell view python tutorial number two for more in-depth tutorial